Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting this killer split with oxidized razor and the mighty fluids on gurgling gore. The oxidized razor side is called deceased and fluids have smile and the world smiles with you. This is definitely, in my personal opinion, the best fluids material. Production wise, the vocals are just dialed sounding. I love the drum programming. It's fucking great. Listen. I was actually talking to Gurgle and Gore and they said just wait until you hear the new full length on Hell's Headbangers. If you like this, then you're gonna love the new material. And this you get bound, gagged, and injected with Jan Grottle on bass, guitars, and samples, Walter Hale on electronics, programming and recording and Brennan Paul on vocals and it sounds fan fucking tastic like I'm so happy that Fluids is like really making moves and kind of taking almost the throne from Mortician in a like different direction but still obviously having the mortician vibes. The samples are fucked up as well, so keep that in mind as always with fluids. Smile and the world smiles with you. Now, let's look at these tape cosmetics because they're gorgeous. Gorgeously disgusting. There's the fluid side of things and we're gonna throw the oxidized razor side on with deceased cannibalism and Viseria Corradas. I think I said that right. If not, I apologize. But I really like this oxidized razor material. I've never heard the band before this split. And I checked it out on Gurgling Gore. And I was just super stoked on it. I was like, whoa, this is fucking sick. And here's Oxidized Razor. Their side of the split. Three piece. And uh, you get... Oh, I think this might be a cover. Um, deceased Cannibalism and then the Viseria Kuradas song has in parentheses Crankhaft. So, uh, that might be a cover, not really sure, but just look how awesome the fucking promo photos are. Just the gore-soaked fucking J-card. Really gnarly stuff here. And we have Cheptas on bass and wine, Aaron on guitar and vocals, and Jonah on drums and vocals. 
This is some fucking sick gore. Let's get into it. it I couldn't think of two bands that fit similar styles and fluids and oxidized razor though after listening to this a bunch this is like a perfect split both bands have similar vibes and it's just really red This is Oxidized Razor, Deceased. spoil the whole release for you but oxidized razors new split with fluids come on if you're a fan of gore this is essential listening 100 percent. especially if you're a fluids fan because i think this is honestly some of their best material and i'll, I'll stand by that statement their Hell's Headbangers debut is going to be awesome. Like, 
I'm sorry, Mortician, but, like, you guys might have got knocked off the throne here if the full length is as gnarly as this sounds. You know, as much as I love this record, it's no hacked up for barbecue, and the same goes for reanimated dead flesh. Like, it's mortician, and it's good, but it's not great. You get what I'm saying? Like, to me, there's certain mortician records that are amazing. And then there's stuff that I personally like, but I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, you, you actually listen to the live Mortician record? And yes, I do. And I fucking actually really, really enjoy it. And always have. I love the fucking banter. Yuppa, yuppa, yuppa. This goes out to our friends in the back. Fucking meat knife. But I remember when this originally came out in 2004. I couldn't have been in more of a hurry to get a copy on CD, but at long last, Mortician's cult live album finally available on vinyl. Originally released in 2004, this staggering double LP collects 37 tracks from various performances during the early 2000s, making this the definitive recorded statement of these gore legends disgusting live power and cosmetically this is really nice and I think it's awesome that fluids are now technically on the same label as Hell's Headbangers and let's take a look at Will real quick and see how he feels about fluids being on the same record label I fucking like it. And there's Roger playing real drums. This is a double LP as well. Side C and D. I think the D side has the, the NDMM. Yeah, it does. Fuck yeah. It's got NDMM. NDNM. New York Death Metal. And whoever they're other session guitar player was. Oh, I, I guess they only had one session guitar player because Roger's on drums during most of these performances. But I just wanted to go over this real quick just to show that now there is a connection between Mortician and Fluids aside from the music, which is cool. But also, if you're a fan of Fluids, and you're looking for more bands that worship Mortician? I'm going to show you one that you really need to check out if you haven't already. I've gone over this release a couple years ago. And I still stand by it being one of the best Mortician worship bands. Because they take the content seriously. No samples. Live drummer now. At first... It was a little kind of tongue-in-cheek joke, but talking about Australia's Incinerated. This is Lobotomize. Second Press on Night Rhythms Records. Yo, total mortician worship done extremely fucking well. I can't get over how good Incinerated are. Just as a band, period. Like, I fucking love that stuff. But there's a lot of good Mortician Worship bands out there, but to me, Incinerated are, like, at the top of that pile, right next to Fluids. And the Oxidized Razor side of things, gore-ridden goodness. Like, if you're a fan of gore grind, nasty fucking death, you need to check out the split with Oxidized Razor and Fluids on Gurgling Gore. I know this is sold out, but maybe there's a CD release. Maybe you just want to get it digitally, but links will be in the video description as always. Thank you to Gurgling Gore for sending this my way so we can get a review. And this just kicked 
total fucking ass. I love it. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. But killer fucking split. And once again, Gurgling Gore proving they are one of the best new names when it comes to modern death metal. Seriously, Gurgling Gore, in my opinion, is like when Maggot Stomp first came out and it was just banger, banger, banger. Like from Grave Ascension, like the whole first year of Maggot Stomp, how ridiculous it was and good. I feel that Gurgling Gore is going the same route. Like, for example, the Degraved demo. This is so fucking good. All this stuff. Seep. Wharf Lurch. Epitaph. Like, Paradox Oxalation. Ridiculous record label. Seriously. Gurgling Gore is amazing. And I'm grateful to fucking have this split with fluids. And Oxidized Razor. And... The oxidized razor side of things is called deceased, and the fluid side, smile, and the world smiles with you. So, check this the fuck out. It's awesome. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails again to Gurgling Gore for making this video possible, and thank you for watching. Again, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails.